Hello everyone, Reverend Russ here sitting in the dark. Peace be with you. Thank you. I'm glad you said and also with you because it's a bit scary sitting here in the church in the dark. I wonder if any of you are scared of the dark. When I was a little boy, I used to be very scared of the dark. I always used to have my bedroom door left open so that the light from the hallway came into my bedroom and that made me feel better. Lots of people are afraid of the dark. I wonder why that is. Maybe it's because in the dark we can't see the way to go and we think we might bump into something. Maybe it's because we think someone might jump out of the dark and frighten us. Maybe it's because we feel lonely in the dark. Perhaps for some of us, when the lights are turned off and we're in the dark, that's when our brains start to wander and we think about all the things that make us sad or worried or even angry. Let me light a candle. There we go, a little bit more light. This is the first candle on our Advent wreath. And maybe you lit a candle in school in your classrooms today, or maybe you have an Advent wreath at home as you think about this time of Advent leading up to Christmas. And you know, this candle made me think of another kind of darkness. I was thinking about the darkness of the school hall on the night of the Christmas production. When all of your parents are sitting still and the hall lights go off and we all sit in the dark for a few moments before the stage lights go on and the Christmas play begins. That kind of darkness is really exciting, isn't it? Because we know that something wonderful is about to happen. And for me, that's what Advent is like. It's a bit like sitting in the dark, waiting for the excitement of Christmas waiting and knowing that Jesus is coming to help us out of the darkness so that we know the way to go. Jesus said in the Bible, I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me will never walk in darkness, but will have the light of life. So if we're ever feeling worried or sad or angry, and this year COVID might have made us all feel all of those things, Jesus says, don't be afraid. I'm going to be your light, so you never have to be afraid again. I'm going to play a song which is about Jesus, the light of the world, and you might like to try and follow the actions for this song. Yeah. 
I hope you enjoyed that song, everyone. And I hope it will be one that stays with you as you go on into your day today. I'm going to pray at the end of our collective worship. So maybe you might like to bow your heads and put your hands together and close your eyes if that helps you to pray. Let's pray. Lord Jesus, thank you that we don't need to be afraid of the darkness, because even in the darkness, you're with us and you want to shine your light into our lives so that we don't worry, so that we're not sad, so that we're not afraid. And we pray that you would show us your light today. Show us that you are with us in our classrooms, in the corridors, in the playground, in the staff room. Help us to know that you are with us, the light of the world. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Amen. Thank you so much for listening well together and I hope you have a great day.